Hello, in this video I'm going to explain the motion of a conical pendulum. Since this is the circular motion, uh, the centripetal direction must be leftward. There are only two forces acting on the pendulum, the downward weight and tension uh, in this direction. And the tension force has got to be larger than the weight because the vertical component of the tension must be able to just balance the downward weight. In fact, it's the horizontal components of tension that provides the required centripetal force for this circular motion. If we call this angle theta, then the vertical components of tension will be T cosine theta, and the horizontal components will be T sine theta. We know that the net force is purely horizontal, so uh, vertically the net force should be zero. So the upward T cosine theta must exactly match the downward mg. Horizontally, of course, we have T sine theta providing the required centripetal force, which we are going to write as mv squared over r. So one equation for the vertical net force and a second equation for the horizontal net force. Divide this equation by this one and the t's and the m's will cancel out and all we are left with is t uh, tangent theta equals to v squared over rg. Um, yeah, yeah, r is of course the radius of the circular motion, huh? this length here. Okay, so this formula here seems to suggest that if we, if we increase the speed of a conical pendulum, then the angle theta is going to become larger. See, v squared, if v squared increases, theta should also increase. And this kind of makes sense because um, a faster circular motion will require a larger centripetal force and this can come about only if the string pulls harder and if the angle theta is larger then we have a stronger horizontal component uh, that provides the required centripetal force. Okay, ta-ta!